Hey, what's up? How are you here? So I, uh, I'm going to be actually going on uh, my first social engineering physical engagement in about a week, uh, which is awesome. Uh, it does mean I'm going to be out of town for a couple of weeks, but I am trying to prepare some YouTube videos ahead of time to keep that content coming for you. Um, but yeah, I'll be I'll be traveling, which is scary <laughs> with the with the COVID situation. Um, but other than that, it's a it's a super exciting opportunity where I'm going to try to break into buildings by tricking people. So it's it's phenomenal, and I can't wait to come back to hopefully share some more stories without giving away too much about the client. Um, but because I've got that engagement coming up, it's got me thinking, all right, well, what can I do uh, around like open source intelligence and information gathering ahead of time, right? The more information I have, uh, the easier it's going to be for me to come up with a pretext or to actually social engineer people. So that led me into kind of looking into tools and seeing what's out there. And I came across this one called G-Hunt. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Basically, this tool allows you to pull all this information, including their name, uh, public YouTube profiles, or any sort of Google accounts, Google photos, uh, any Google reviews that they've leave, left. And if um, it's able to find any photos, it's even going to try to extract information out of the metadata. Can we get location? Can we get software? Can we get firmware or phone information? So it's a pretty cool tool. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right in on this one. So when we're seeing this tool for the first time, there is a little bit of setup that you need to do. Uh, but the setup's really, really simple. Just start by coming up to GitHub. You can copy this URL right there. And then you would come into, I like to go into my op directory. Um, so change into op. And then you would just do like a sudo, if I could type, git clone, and then paste in that URL that we copied. Um, so that'll go out. That'll download all the files that you need. And then you'll be able to change into this ghunt directory. Um, and inside of that, We've got all the contents there that we saw on the GitHub. So pretty simple to download. From there, you will need to use pip to actually install the requirements and get up and running. Alternatively, you can go Docker, uh, the Docker route and use Docker instead. But um, I did a manual install with, uh, with just by running this pip uh, command right here. Now, they mentioned to use this one. I had no luck with it. Instead, I did pip3 install dash r and then requirements.txt. So that's what worked for me. Maybe you'll have different luck. Um, but I do have pip3 installed ahead of time. And if you don't know how to install that, just do a quick Google search. You'll find, you'll find the answer. Um, so cool. Once you've got the requirements installed, next, we need to give it cookie information. Um, so basically, you need to have your own Google account that you're going to be using to perform these searches. Because what's happening? is we just basically let it use our Google account to go out and try to find and automate hunting down all that information I listed before. So what I would recommend is to go out, maybe make like a dedicated Google account. That way you don't have like this type of hunting tied to your actual real Google account. Um, but also, you know, if, if you have to go out and you, and you have to provide the right cookies to the script, um, Every time you log in, you might generate a new session or generate a new cookie, um, which could just make it to where your cookies are constantly having to be updated in the script, and that can just be a pain to deal with. So I would make a dedicated account for this. Um, I am using my uh, LinkedIn administrator from a previous video where I did like a, a simulated phishing campaign. Um, so that's the Google account I'm using. And basically, if once you get signed in, you can go to accounts.google.com. You'll get logged in and then just open up uh, the inspect element on the page and you can go into storage and now you've got all the different cookies related to your session. So once you have your account logged in, you've got the tool downloaded, you can come in and they talk about running this check and gin.py script. So we'll come in and we'll just run sudo python3 check and gin.py. And of course I gotta provide a password. Now, in my case, I've already done this, and I've already given it the cookies that I asked for. So that's why it says, hey, we detected cookies. Um, they seem valid. Do you want to generate new stuff? And I don't need to do that, so I'm going to say no. Um, but if you haven't done this yet, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to provide these four cookies. Um, and again, all of those are super easy to pull out. You just come into your Google account. You find the first one, which is secure 3PSID. 
and you find secure 3 PSID, there it is. Go out, extract the value for that, and then provide that to the script. And then do the next one, API SID, find that, there it is. Extract the value, throw that into the script. So you'll do that, all four of these. Once you do, it'll generate your own Google Docs and Hangout tokens that it's going to use to authenticate as you to try to get information about other people. OK, that's all done. You've got your, your cookies imported. You've got everything downloaded. We're ready to run the tool. So the, the syntax is crazy simple. I mean, it's just you run Python, hunt.py, and then you specify the email account you want to do recon on. So I like to throw sudo in the front of it. And then, in fact, I actually need to use, in my case, Python 3, because I have both Python 2 and 3 installed. So then you just specify the email account. Um, so what I'm going to do is, if you recall, like about a month ago, I uploaded a video where I came across a, a phishing server that was just leaking all kinds of victim information, right? I got, uh, within an eight hour period, I found over 600 hacked accounts. Um, it, it was actually a really cool video, so check that one out if you haven't already. Um, but what I'm going to use is I'm going to use that breach, all of that information that got uncovered, um, I'm going to use that data to try to find a Gmail account that maybe we can do some recon on. So I think I've got it listed here as users.txt, and I'm just going to grep out for gmail.com. So if, you're, <laughs> if your email account is showing up here in this list, it's because you were fished recently. Um, so sorry about that. I had nothing to do with the fish, but I did come across the, the actual uh, web server and found that you know a, a text document showing all the victims. I tried to call as many of the people I could, um, but there were just too many. So I'm going to use this Terry email account. We'll just throw that here. And Jihunt's going to run with it, see what it can find. So we make this bigger for a second. We could see, cool, it found an account. It showed us, well, the account's fairly active, about a month ago at least. We got a Google ID, so it was able to tie it to some sort of Google ID. But it's not a Hangout bot. It couldn't find a YouTube, couldn't contact any Google services, no photos or maps. OK, so that's uneventful. <laughs> we didn't get any information about this guy. Um, but that's a good thing, I think, right? Because if we're not able to extract information about them, that just means they've got their privacy settings tweaked the way they should. Um, but I think that this is an awesome OSINT tool because now we know, OK, well, none of this stuff is there. And we can move on to either another email account um, or you know other information that we have about the target. So. That one didn't result in anything. What about this one here? Kind of clear out all that stuff, paste in the new email address, and we'll let her fly. OK, so this account doesn't seem to have been used for a couple months, uh, but we got a little bit more information this time. It looks like we got three different YouTube channels, but uh, nope, yep, they're all unique. So it was able to say, hey, there's a 37% chance that we've got the right YouTube. Um, and that's really it. That's all that it seems to be able to pull down. And you know, we can go out to each of these YouTube channels, see what we can find about them. Maybe try to understand. It looks like they're all named Terry Reed, so that's probably why it came back as, hey, this is a possible hit. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, this at least gives us an idea where to start hunting. And then we can look at the photos, see if anything comes back there, 404. We can look at what it found for the Google review. And well, we don't have any reviews here. This I think would be really, really cool to see because if there are reviews, we might be able to do some extra recon on this and try to figure out, okay, well, if they're constantly going to this place, that place, and this place, we can get an idea of at least where they live or maybe where they work, right? Um, but there doesn't seem to be any reviews here, but we do have a photo that maybe we can match up to one of these YouTube profiles that came up. So, I mean, this is just some of my basic open source intelligent hunting skills that are kicking in here. Um, I haven't had much luck with this G Hunt tool. Um, a lot of the time, my results have been what we're seeing here. But maybe when you use the tool, you'll have better luck. So, I mean, that's it. I don't have much more to go. If you want to try this tool out, see what you can figure out about yourself, maybe your family members or your friends. The next time you're on an open source intelligent assessment or some social engineering engagement, feel free to give this one a shot. Uh, I'd be really curious to hear about whether or not you got lucky with it and, and uncovered some cool stuff. So let me know. And uh, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.